okay so problem statement find force p required to pull the block b so stop coefficient of friction between a and 25 okay so block b imbends towards the right side due to p force and block a imbends towards the left side due to this wire tension okay so for that write down the block b block b imbends 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 towards right due to due to due to p force p force and block a and the block a block a imbends imbends towards towards left due to tension towards left due to tension due to tension okay so now draw the free body diagram of block a block a so weight of block a it is 20 kg just 20 kg it is acted in downward direction convert this 20 kg weight in newton okay 20 kg to newton 20 into we need to multiply by 9.81 it will be getting newton okay so 20 into 9.81 so it will be get 196.2 newton 196.2 newton okay so block a it is contacted to the block b here it is contacted here here it is contacted here so just remove this contacted surface and draw the normal reaction okay just remove this contacted surface and draw the normal reaction this normal reaction it is rna okay this normal reaction it is rna rna okay so now wire tension it is acted so just show this one wire tension bro this one is horizontal axis one tension force it is acted it is wire tension so this one it is t force just donate it will be t okay so angle with respect to x it is 30 degree okay so this angle it is 30 degree just show this one angle it is 30 degree with the horizontal axis okay horizontal axis okay the embedding motion of this block it is towards the left side so just show the direction of embedding motion so this one it is embedding motion so this one it is embedding motion it is towards the left side embedding motion embedding motion okay embedding motion if the embedding motion it is towards the left side so friction force it is acted opposite direction of embedding motion so friction force this one it is friction force it is acted that is fr is equal to write down friction force fr is equal to fr is equal to so coefficient of friction between a and b it is given 0.3 0.3 into rna so friction force it is 0.3 into rna okay this is friction force okay this one it is i will friction force okay this one is friction force okay so now this t it is resolved in two direction okay because of this inclined force it is resolved in two direction one it is y axis and second one it is x axis second one it is x axis okay the angle with respect to x axis so that's why in x axis it is t cos 30 t cos 30 on y axis it is t sin 30 on y axis it is t sin 30 okay t sin 30 now apply the equilibrium equation for block a i will write here apply equilibrium equation apply apply condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium condition of equilibrium for for block or block 
A. Okay. So first of all, apply summation of f y is equal to zero. Summation of f y is equal to zero. Summation of f y is equal to zero. So for that assumption, if the direction of force it is upward, the direction of force it is upward, it will be a positive. The direction of force it is upward, it will be a positive. If the direction of force it is downward, it will be a negative. The direction of force it is downward, it will be a negative. Okay, negative, negative. Okay, so first of all, this RNA is going upward direction, so it is positive. RNA, then 196.2 it is going downward, so minus 196.2 it is downward. Then T sine 30 it is going upward, so plus T sine 30 is equal to this zero. Okay, write down RNA is equal to RNA is equal to. 196.2 minus t sin 30 minus t t sin 30 it is how much sin 30 just sin 30 it is 0 0.5 0 0.5 t 0 0.5 t so this one it is right on equation number so now apply second equilibrium equation that is summation fx is equal to zero summation of fx is equal to zero summation of fx is equal to zero so for that assumption if the force it is right side it will be take positive the direction of force it is right side it will be take positive if the direction of force it is left side the direction of force it is left side so it will be take negative it will be take negative okay it will be take negative so first of all this t cos 30 it is going left side so minus minus t cos minus t cos 30 it is going left side then 0 0.3 rna it is going right side so plus 0 0.3 rna is equal to this zero okay so just put rna value here rna equation number one put here so minus t cos 30 t cos 30 then plus 0.3 in bracket RNA it is RNA it is 196.2 minus 0.5 t minus 0.5 t bracket close is equal to this zero is equal to this zero okay is equal to this zero okay so just simplify this equation so I will write here minus minus t cos 30 t cos 30 then plus just solve this bracket 0 0.3 into 196.2 so 196.2 0.3 into 190 point 6 0.3 into 196.2 it will be 58.86 58.86 58.86 then 0.3 into 0 0.15 0.3 into sorry point point three into point five. So it will be 0 0.15 minus 0 0.15 t is equal to zero. First of all, take t terms. Okay. So minus cos 30 and minus 0 0.15 30. So cos 30 minus minus cos 30 and minus 0 0.15. So it will be at minus minus 1.0. 160t plus 58.86 plus 58.86 is equal to it is zero okay so now so from this relation it will be t value okay uh, calculate t is equal to write down t is equal to from this relation t is equal to 58.86 divided by 1.0 one six zero so it will be fifty seven point nine three newton fifty seven point nine three newton okay this one it is t value okay fifty seven point nine three newton so calculate rna just put this value in equation number one so it will get rna value okay so we'll write here so 
R N A is equal to R N A is equal to it will be one ninety six point two minus point five T point five T. Okay, so just put T value here. It will get R N A value. So one ninety six point two minus point five T is fifty seven point nine three nine. From this relation, it will get R N A is equal to R N A is equal to one ninety six point two minus point five into fifty seven point nine three. It will get one sixty seven point two three. One sixty seven point two three newton. One sixty seven point two three newton. This one it is normal range. Okay. So now consider block D. Okay. Rather block B, block B. Okay. Consider block B. Not rather block B. So this one it is block B. So P four city is acted here. It is towards the P four city is towards the right side. So this one it is P four. So embedding motion it is act actually acted. Towards the right side. This one it is embedding motion. Embedding motion. Embedding motion. Okay. So weight of block it is thirty kg. Just convert it is in newton. Weight of block it is thirty kg. So just convert it is in kg to newton. So thirty into thirty into nine point eight one. Thirteen to nine point one. Easy to Newton. Okay. Thirteen to nine point eight one. Two ninety four point three Newton. Two ninety four point three Newton. Okay. Two ninety four point three Newton. Okay. Then next one it is. So it is contacted at two place. This block it is contacted B block. One it is floor and one it is A. So just draw the normal reaction here. That A. It is just remove this surface and draw the normal reaction. At B, it is just remove this one and draw the normal reaction. Okay, A to B it is contacted and B to floor it is contacted. Okay, first of all I will remove this A block and just draw the normal reaction. That is R N A R N A and just floor it is remove and draw the normal reaction. That is R N B. R N B. This one it is R N B. Okay, R N B. Okay. So actually, embedding motion it is towards the right side. So embedding motion it is towards the right side. So that's why friction force it is acted opposite direction of embedding motion. Okay. Means it is this one it is friction force. Here yeah, this one it is friction force it is acted. Okay. So F R is equal to write down. F R is equal to F R is equal to it is So coefficient of friction between B and floor it is 0.25, 0.25 into R N B, R N B. Okay, and here it is contacted A to B. So here it is friction force between A and B it is. So this friction force it is F R is equal to F R is equal to 0.3 R N A. Because coefficient of friction A and B is 0.3. Okay, so now apply the condition of equilibrium. Apply the condition of equilibrium. Okay, apply the condition of equilibrium for B B block. So I'll write here. Apply the condition of equilibrium for B block. Okay. Apply. Write down. Apply condition of equilibrium. Condition of equilibrium. Condition of equilibrium for B block. For B block. For B block. Okay. So first of all, apply summation of summation of F Y is equal to zero. Summation of F Y is equal to zero. Summation of F Y is equal to zero. So for that assumption. The same assumption here also. If the force it is upward, it will be positive. The direction of force it is upward, it will be positive. 
the direction of force it is downward it will be negative the direction of force it is downward it will be negative it will be negative okay so first of all rna it is going downward direction so minus rna minus rna then 294.3 it is going downward so minus 294.3 it is going downward then rnb it is going upward so plus rnb rnb is equal to zero so these three forces it is acted on block b okay so rna value we are calculated it is 167.23 so just put rna value here so rnb it will be rnb is equal to rna plus 294.3 294.3 okay write down rnb is equal to rna it is 167.23 plus 294.3 294.3 so from this relation it will be get rnb value rnb is equal to write down 167.23 plus 294.3 so it will be 461 461.5 461.53 newton okay this one it is rnb value. So now apply second equilibrium equation that is summation fx is equal to zero. 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 For that assumption, same. If the force it is right side, it will be take positive. The direction of force it is right, it will be positive. Positive. The direction of force it is left side, it will be negative. The direction of force it is left side, it will be negative. It will be negative. Okay. It will be negative. Okay. So here. So this P force it is going right side. So plus P. Then minus 0.25 RNB is going left side. So it will be that's why minus minus 0.25 RNB. R and B, then 0.3 RNA is going also left side. So minus 0.3 RNA, R and A is equal to it is zero, is equal to zero. So now write down P is equal to P is equal to 0.25 R and R and B and plus 0.3 RNA, RNA, RNA. Okay, so just put all this value here. 0.25 RNA, it is, RNB it is here. And RNB value it is 461, 461.23. Then plus 0.3 into RNA, plus 0.3 into RNA. RNA it is, RNA it is. 167.23 167.23 so from this value it will be a p value okay p value write down 0 0.25 into 461.23 and plus 0 0.3 into 167.23 so it will be at 167 point sorry 165.5 165.5 5 newton. So this is your final answer. Okay. So this is the question was find the force P required to pull the block P. So P force it is required 165.5 newton. Okay.